Okay, so if you clicked on this video, it sounds like you're in the middle of an LS swap and you're probably at a point where you really wish things would just go right. Or maybe you're here because you're in the middle of an LS swap and things haven't gone right. Let me tell you a story. When we did the LS swap on my 1970 C10, we got everything put together, everything fits great, fire it up, sounds great, runs great, and we throw it in reverse, back it out of the shop, throw it in drive, and we're stuck in third gear. And that's when we realized we forgot one little wire. When you're looking at a wiring diagram, the engine controls are pretty straightforward, but the transmission circuit gets a little complicated. It actually ties into the instrument panel, fuse panel, which is no longer there on an LS swap, and that's where it gets a little confusing. But it's just one wire that you have to deal with. Technically, two wires, but you use the one wire to do the thing to the other wire. I think Jerry should explain this one. All right. Uh, it's starting to downpour outside now, so we we'll, we threw the hood back on this thing. Maybe it'll make the noise a little less, but this this circuit runs through the instrument panel fuse box, which you don't have anymore. So I don't know why they did it like that, but they did. It's uh, very weird. It's uh, stumped a lot of people, including me. So just stuff like that that's one of the greatest reasons for having a wiring diagram for what you're working on so you can figure out little problems like that because i would have never figured that one out without a wiring di diagram but yeah so so what i'm going to do is we have to get uh power going to um pin c9 in the c1 connector okay and it's got to be power with the key on engine running and i'm going to steal the power from uh, the rear o2 sensors since we don't use them on this truck so they are in there they're powered up uh, but we can take the power away from those since we're not using them and we'll use that to run uh, the transmission circuit okay sweet and we're also going to run the speedometer off of it so i'm going to make like a little branch off of it to uh, to do that so oh, yeah. so let's find the uh, c what is it e7 right e7 on the connector number two is the o2 sensor uh, okay. so we'll pull that out and that's what i'm doing right now i'm taking it out of there Wow, you're doing a great job. Thanks. I don't know. Mm -hmm. It's raining and it is cold all of a sudden. It was 80 degrees yesterday. Mm -hmm. And now it's freezing outside. Yeah. E7, huh? Is that what I said? A, B, C, D, E. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's nothing in there. Am I looking at it wrong? A, B, C, D, E. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so it's that. Helps if you look at it correctly. So those two. That, that one. There you go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Okay, I'm not going to go and cut those that wire and get rid of it. I'm going to just fold it over and I'll uh, put some heat shrink around it just in case I made a mistake. And so I'm going to replace that one with this one. Okay, so that wire then is, is going to feed my uh, power to the transmission now instead of going to the O2 sensor. Put the hood on though, screws up the lighting though. Yeah. It. Sound or light? You can't have both. No. Ok, 
Alpha. Yeah, what was it? C9 or the other one? Yep. Come on. Come on. Come on. Okay. So. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Right? Let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Second over there. Yep. Okay. That's not easy to spot. Mm -mm. <clears throat> Got it, right? Sweet. Okay. Put these back in. Okay. That okay. and What do you think of that? Think we can solder that? Sure. Think it'll work. Somebody's grumpy. I guess. And I'm gonna cover up that one circuit. Okay. Oops. Just to keep it. Yep, okay. so that's the rear that's, that's the sir. original rear O2 sensor wire, but Yep. Uh, which we're not using and now we're going to use the fuse that was running that to run the torque converter or not torque converter the transmission goes down to power the transmission solenoids okay. so so for engine and transmission that is it on this one that's all it takes to run it awesome. okay so, done. Easy sleazy. Yep. So there you go. I hope this video helps you out. I hope it saved you some headache. And with that, the 78C10 LS swap is complete. It has gone home. The owner is super happy with it. And we're going to miss having it around the shop. But that means that we can move on to some pretty exciting stuff. And the owner of the 78 has actually been nice enough to let us borrow it next weekend for a truck show. So if you are in the Springfield, Missouri area and you want to see the 78 C10 or my 1970 C10 live in the flesh, come see us at the C10 Cruise and Show presented by Mo C10 Addiction. I will put a link in the description with all the information for the event. I hope to see you there. And as always, thank you guys for watching. We really appreciate it. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and ring the little bell. If this video helps you out, let me know in the comments and we will catch you guys next time.